Can y'all stop telling me to throw my skinny jeans away? That's all I've been seeing on the internet lately. Throw your skin, no, not gonna be able to do it. I got 30 pairs of them and they ain't going nowhere. So what's up to all my beautiful queens, divas of a more mature age? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today. I am the Eva Monroe and I'm all comfy, cozy in home attire today. But I thought that it would be fun to do a little project and to share this project with all of my lovely ladies. Okay, it's getting ready to be my favorite time of the year. Now, if you were rocking with me last year or the year before, you would have had to been under a rock to not know that I live for fall clothes, only fall clothes. I don't like the weather. I don't like to be cold, but it's time for blazers and boots and outerwear and well, not quite outerwear yet, but blazers. Okay. So most of you know that I don't give a, you know what about trends, right? So I, I take my trends in small doses, but I try to keep everything else timeless and classic. And I just do whatever the hell I want to do. Like, I don't care what Pantone says. I don't care what Armani and all them did on the runway. I do what the hell I want to do because I'm 44 now and I can do that. So <laughs> usually I do look at the trends and see what's popping. And this year I looked at what's hot this year, fall 2021, 2022, fall, winter, 2021, 2022. And the funny thing about it was I started thinking about everything that's in my closet and I was like, okay, I already own most of these trends. I ain't going out to buy nothing. So that's why it pays to take care of your clothes, you know, keep things nice, keep them clean and don't always be so quick to throw stuff away because sometimes it'll just come right on back around again. So today we are going to shop my closet for some fall 2021 looks and trends. Now, don't judge me because <laughs> we're getting ready to go into the war zone in here. I have four war zones in here and we're gonna go in each and every one of them and we're gonna see what we can find. Now, the first trend that we're gonna start with that I hear is on and popping is knits right? Like knits, like sweater dresses, long, like matching knit pants, suits, big clunky knits, knit skirts, knit. So let's go into war zone number one and see how many knits we can locate. I'm telling y'all don't judge me. <laughs> okay. This is where I keep most things long, most things long. So when we speak of knits, I'm going to say, I would, th would that be classified as a knit? It probably would. I don't know. Is this a knit? Do y'all think this is a knit? I like the color, right? But I don't know. I think we'll pass on that. That's Michael Kors thrifted it. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? Okay. If you follow me on Instagram, two years ago was it two years yeah like a year or two ago i posted this oh my goodness this this is what i've been seeing a lot of this okay so this is actually i don't know if you guys can see this it's two pieces it's the top and then it's the uh knit the sweater dress underneath it but the top is like a neck and a shrug i would bet any amount of money we can rock this and look like we just bought it off the rack 2021. So we're, we're going with this. Okay. My rack is all the way over here. Pardon me. I should have brought my rack over here. Okay. Let's find, Oh, I want to show y'all this. I got this. I actually got this not too long ago from Marshall's it was on the clearance rack right buy things out of season this is definitely knit you know what when I bought this you know what I thought about let me show you what I thought about go get get your 
get your around the way girl on okay if you if you own the, i'm telling you saturday denim jacket tim's sweater dress it's a vibe it's the but what should we 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 can keep well i don't know we won't we won't keep that out but we know that if we need a knit and a crunch it's in there oh i know i have a y'all don't don't do this this is a mess okay <laughs> just so you know don't do this i need to get in here and work this out okay oh you know what look this is a two-piece knit suit it's a pants suit and y'all know i like to support my local um, black owned boutiques and I was out one day and I must have went in five of them and I was I just wanted to find something grown enough for me everything is spandex and polyester and my son actually sent me a post off of Instagram um, someone posted do they still make sundresses because all I see is wrestling suits and yeah, that is it's like, I couldn't find anything. So I went in this one store and the girl, she was so helpful. She wanted to find me something so bad. I wanted her to find me something. I wanted to buy something from her. I wanted to support her business. And so she came out with this and I was like, you know, I usually don't do this type of stuff, but I have a vision for this because I have a blazer that I thrifted a long time ago that I think will work very well with this. Also, I also see this with like, maybe like a denim jacket. I see this with my little blazer and a white sneaker or something along those lines. So we'll definitely, she's a keeper, we'll keep her. But let me tell y'all this. Now, I'm, I'm, we're just gonna be perfectly honest here. Um, I spent $49.99 on that. And I, I mean, if I would have found something I liked, I would not have questioned her price on it. But I don't like to spend my $49.99 on stuff like that because I don't really wear stuff like that. But we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. Okay, so the next trend is sequins. Now, there will be no shortage of clothing here, just so you know. And can y'all stop? telling me to throw my skinny jeans away. That's all I've been seeing on the internet lately. Throw your skin, no, not gonna be able to do it. I got 30 pairs of them and they ain't going nowhere. Cause I, y'all throw yours away. I'm curious to see what y'all gonna be wearing with your over the knee boots. Now we're going to closet number two. Let me turn y'all a little bit. Okay, this is war zone number two. Now we're gonna find some sequin or some, I'm still, y'all still don't judge me. <laughs> I keep some tops and I keep um, some bottoms in this particular wardrobe right here. Now, when I tell you there will be no shortage of sequins here, let me show you exactly what I mean. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> The queen loves a sequin top. Okay, we got a wide variety to choose from here. All right, y'all, I got so many sequin shirts. I got multiples hanging up on, look. Get, get your sequins on with that. Then I got this shimmery like zebra top. Um, We have a I think, I think this would be very fall appropriate. Yes, this with a blazer, slack, and I don't know about this color, but I don't know, we're, we're, we're good here. I'm gonna keep this one. And I have a shirt that I really, really want to get out. Okay, not long ago, I thrifted a um, shirt, a metallic shirt from oh 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 i thrifted this not long ago y'all and look at look at this this is chico's can y'all see it's metallic-y oh oh no i hate when stuff touches my lip gloss all right see that this is nice you know how i see this going let me show you real quick what i see occurring here Okay, I when when I got this shirt, actually when I thrifted it, I saw this with like a flowy 
um, kind of slack, right? I think that would be, ah, I think that would really be nice. I see that this shirt with the flowy slack and possibly, I don't know, we, this could be, do y'all think this would be shimmer overload? I need, I need to polish these. They're tarnished <laughs> just because I haven't worn them. But I think, I think that, that could be a whole vibe. We're going to try this. Okay. So I think that's enough for the shimmeries. Okay. So this, <laughs> this is an area of slight embarrassment. This is my blazer closet. Um, and this entire closet is, um, I must have some hanging somewhere else, is a row that this is all blazers and this is all blazers in this entire closet. And unfortunately, I'm sad to say this is not all of them. Now, one thing, um, blazers and suits, um, suiting is huge this fall. And again, this is something else that you guys know I, I'm addicted to suiting. I'm addicted to blazers. So also color, like bold, good, thick, saturated color so I this is one of my favorite suits to wear in the winter in the fall and winter months and this is nine west and I don't know if it comes across red on camera but it's not girl it's orange it's like oh it's mouth-watering orange I love this so we are definitely gonna go with her okay let's hang her over yonder Okay, another thing that I saw was cropped jackets. And I was like, okay, I see you cropped jackets. I have, I had a red one. I don't think I threw it away. One day I thought about throwing it away, but I don't know if I ever did. Um, this is a cute, it's not, it's not exactly like cropped, cropped, but this is Armani, um, really cute. But I have one that is like, um really oh here it is here it is no that's not it either oh that's a good this is a good one though this is a good red coat oh i gotta make sure i'm rocking that <laughs> okay as far as suiting goes um i have another that i want to wear before it gets ter too terribly chilly and this is like a cream colored suit and it's got the pants, um, it's got big wide leg trousers to match it. So I haven't had the opportunity to wear this out. So I really want to wear this. Um, I would really like to find that red uh, jacket. I have, we have tons of suits to choose from here. So there's no shortage there. Okay. <laughs> We're just moving all around. I'll pan the room for you guys so you guys can see where I'm going, how how I'm bouncing about. Now, I have to move these uh, hats here. This is another closet. This is where I keep more stuff. Oh, there are blazers in here too. Okay, so here is the infamous cropped red. It's like a blazer jacket right i see you know what i would wear this with because it's cropped and it's like fitted in my waist i would wear this with a pair of black wide leg slacks like really wide leg slacks oh i think we might be able to kill the game with that um and then Oh, you know what? I have this. I'm going to actually, I want to wear this because denim is a thing as well. I love this in the fall. I know y'all might be like, girl, throw that thing away. I cannot. This, this is so good. It's a super long denim jacket, but that tan knit suit that I pulled out, I see that working or this working over the top of that. So we're going to keep this as well. Okay, so I just went and pulled out some more stuff so I wouldn't have to keep dragging y'all from area to area, from piddle to post. Um, you must have leather, right? One must have leather. And listen to me when I... <laughs> Man, I got these from 
fashions are us boutique and listen or i shouldn't say these i should say this and it is a long oh leather i had they had it in black y'all but i had i had to get the red i had to get the red i didn't want to get the black um and they come all the way up to here and you got to do the kick out walk when you're wearing them oh when you guys see this on you're gonna fall in love i love these these may be too long for some people or this may be too long for some people but if you know how to do the kick out i know how to do the kick out because i used to walk in a bridal show every year that's the reason why i never wanted to have a big wedding because once you've been snatched in and out of 10 wedding dresses in one night you don't ever want to put another wedding dress on a day in your life <laughs> but they taught me how to do the kick out walk so i stink and love these now this is the jacket that i was telling you guys about oh my god i thrifted this will you can you guys see this oh this is so good it is um brocade i want to put this this on right now like i not even in the fashion show portion of the video but right now right now well, let me get my mic out here okay i'm gonna just hold on to my mic sorry about whatever noise is it look at that y'all look look at her look how snatched she is oh can y'all mm-hmm this might even be like holiday soiree right but this definitely falls into the metallic metallic category <laughs> okay so let's talk about what i actually drug out of my closet and let me show you guys how i played with some of those things i don't think they all made the cut but the the moral of the story is that you don't have to go out shopping every time there's a new season or a new trend just learn how to play with what's in your closet and work with what you already have so one thing that was not in that portion of the video that I actually found that I don't know why y'all <laughs> I'm so in love with is this newspaper print suit child I love this suit I don't care extra extra read all about it I actually paired this suit with my red Carmina Oxfords I'm not sure which side is gonna pop up on um which made the suit pop in an insane way with the red lip i was feeling myself i was feeling myself so much i had to do a whole photo shoot y'all i love that suit it came from fashions r us boutique which i really love i don't like their website though y'all so if you're in the st louis area definitely pop in there and see what they have um they have some some really nice stuff in there now another thing that i got out of there was this long red leather skirt get your whole life right here if you can please <laughs> i love listen um you guys know i'm barely i'm i'm trying to be five three over here but i'm short and i can do this i can pull this thing off and when i tell you i love this i love this so stinking much um it just works i think it works i i could see this being paired also with a long sleeve top like a long sleeve maybe a little mock neck top some good jewelry i was looking for these big um red earrings that i have but i couldn't locate those today so at any rate love it love it love it now the sweater actually actually the knit suit um the one that i told you guys i got from one of my local boutiques and that is fly zone they have fly zone for him and fly zone for her so i got this little get up out of fly zone for her and it it actually is really cute but let me tell you something that i was really shocked by it's super comfortable y'all i mean the material i was like oh this is good I, I might go back and get that in black they have it in black 
and I believe they have it in like a dark green color. So I, I like that. I wouldn't wear that to work, wouldn't wear that to the office or anything, but Saturday kick around, errands, running to lunch, something like that, really cute. I wore it with my blazer that I told y'all I thrifted. And then I also threw my big oversized denim jacket on it. And so it, it really did work. Now, the sweater dress. Um, as I, I think I posted, put on the video, don't hang your sweater dresses like this. Actually, that's actually the hanger that I bought that dress on two years ago. <laughs> don't do that. Um, when I put it on, I was expecting to have the little puckers in the sleeves, but it actually didn't do that. But it looks really good on. You could, um, I think I sock bootied this. You could knee high boot it. Um, tights and heels whatever you wanted to do but it was it's super duper comfortable and it's so warm so i really really was digging that um now the next thing what else did i play around with here oh let's go on to the sequins and the shimmer so i actually my, that white shirt that i showed you guys um i actually paired that with a white slack i did polish my silver shoes and put those on with it was cute it was a nice flowy relaxed type of vibe um something that i would probably wear like you know between now and maybe like the next few weeks or something um the shirt's rather thin um now i took the sequin top the gray sequin top and i just paired it with a pair of high-waisted jeans and a blazer it worked it was cute it was kind of cozy um oh i forgot knits i actually pulled out this big thick knit sweater and I bought this from Target last year and it just works. I actually bought the sweater from Target and the high-waisted wide leg trousers also came from Target as well. That sweater feels so good and it's so nice, but I love the juicy pop of color because color is, is just a thing that's happening right now. And I love it so much. Okay, now can we talk about this orange suit? This is a suit that I don't care how I'm feeling. I don't care what the weather is. I don't care what the day is. Whenever I put this suit on, I feel some type of way about myself. It's just one of those suits. The fit is so good to me. Um, it's comfortable. It, it, the color though is everything. I wear this suit with pumps. I wear it with Oxfords. I actually really love this suit with an Oxford. It looks really good with my Burgundy Angela Scott's. Really good. But just a real nice, something that oftentimes people don't expect you to just come busting out in bright orange or bright yellow when it's cold outside. Um, I know a lot of people that like stick to the grays, you know? Um, now here is the red crop jacket that I found, um, in my closet and I paired it with some black wide leg trousers. They're high waisted. Those came from Target about two or three years ago. They're comfortable as well. Um, they actually looked really cute with the red crop jacket. Um, the shoes, I actually got the shoes off. I bought them from someone off of Poshmark. And you will see me with the, a bag, the exact same bag. You guys, I bought the shoes last year off of Poshmark. And earlier this year, I was out thrifting and I found that bag. And I was like, is this the bag that matches my shoes? And it actually is. I think it's is it Patricia Nash? I want to say that's who it is, Patricia Nash. But it just worked so perfect. The, the shoes are such a vibe, I think. I love wearing those shoes. I also like to wear those shoes with a um, Veronica beard blazer that I have. It's like a, oh, sometimes I call it mustard, but I'm not sure what the appropriate name for that is. Now, the white flowy suit, I actually 
paired that suit with a red belt and a red pump. Um, when I put that suit on, I realized that I need to have some alterations done to that suit. I kind of bought it and popped it in the closet and never really worried about it again. It's probably going to be some alterations that I can do, but um, especially since I lost a little bit of weight, it's like the waist was, I had to pin the waist up because it was rather big in the waist. And even though it's supposed to be slightly oversized, I would like the jacket to fit me a little bit better. Um, that suit is actually top shop and I'm not really even sure if I'm crazy about the material of the suit, but the overall look of it is, is really, is really kind of nice. Okay. So this was a lot of fun to just actually go rummaging through my closets. One place I did not take you guys was to my coat closet. Um, and I want, I need to do, I really want to do an entire outerwear video like trenches and things like that if that's something that you guys would like to see let me know in the comment section below remember to forget about being trendy um be comfortable be stylish stay in your lane and have fun with your clothes so thank you guys so much for watching me today until i see you again be blessed and bye for now